continuing on with the restoration of our James Warren catamaran. In this video, we're bringing the beam down to the hulls and lashing it in place. The beam troughs are all sanded and ready for paint. We'll do one layer of epoxy primer, followed by two layers of a two-pack polyurethane paint to finish. Drilling these holes through the plywood and the steel bracket beneath. The eye bolts will sit through this hole and the rope lashings will attach to this. down the boat tonight. Finally putting this first beam in. I'm just going to start by putting the these eye bolts, sticking them in place. Then we'll crane that up over and into place, lash it in, and then take this next beam out. So we're just going to stick uh, the washer plates and the threads. We don't want water leaking into the boat. Put that in. We're gonna chuck this bit of square tube on top of the eye bolt and dad will twist this with a shifter and I'll go downstairs with the spanner and we'll get it nice and tight. definitely a relief when that beam fitted into place nicely. As I walk over you can see the blocks that are glued in the trough on the beam to stop horizontal movement. There's a little gap in between, I left this on purpose so I can put some rubber in between that. Here we begin the process of lashing one of the four points on this beam. We are using an old piece of rope to demonstrate the basic method on how we lash. We will use high quality pre-stretched polyester braided rope as recommended by Warren Catamarans but this stuff will do for now. We want our lashings to be as tight as possible. The idea of the lashing allows stresses from the ocean to be absorbed with a small amount of flex instead of force loading at certain areas and causing damage to our boat. In the end of the rope, we tied a bowline. Put this through the eye bolt. We tied the blue line here to that bowline and attach it to a cleat at the front of the boat. This helps to hold the tension on the rope and keep it in the same place that we want it to be while lashing. We go from one side to the other, pull tension on the line and then use a quick action clamp to hold the tension while we pull the rest of the line through. And we repeat this until we have four layers of rope on each side of the block.
Now we tie a couple hitches through the bowline that we tied at the beginning. This allows us to start wrapping the line horizontally. As we do this, we pull a lot of tension on the original lashing and secure this beam in place. Now we secure it all by tying a few hitches around the vertical lines. A lot of work went into this beam. The replacing of the rotten wood, the glassing, the painting and all the bits and pieces needing for the lashing conversion. We were quite nervous changing something so major but it's worked out pretty good. We can't wait to get all the new rope and lash it all in place. Progress was a little slow with this beam but now that we have a plan in the system we can start smashing out the rest of them. Thanks heaps for watching in the next episode where we'll film some of the hatches and start this next beam.